So, are you thinking about moving to Roanoke, Virginia? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you all about the Roanoke Valley. Everybody quiet, please. Hey, my name is Rob Jesse and I am a native to the Roanoke area, lived here all of my life and I love it. I'm also a local real estate agent or realtor and I get calls from all over the country asking about the Roanoke area, uh, what it's like to live here, what the cost of living is. So in this video, we're going to dive deep and learn a few things about Roanoke. So let's talk about the cost of living. In the Roanoke area, the average home price is $246,000. Doesn't mean you can't find one cheaper, but that's just the average price. The average price of groceries, I think, I think it stands close to, to most of America. A uh, gallon of milk is about $2.99. Loaf of bread is about $1.99. Uh, hamburger is anywhere between $4.99 a pound to $5.99 a pound. Uh, depends on what store you shop at. Gas, that's where it changes throughout the Roanoke area. I live in Southwest County uh, in Roanoke, and our gallon of gas today is $1.95 for just regular unleaded. But if you drive 15, 20 minutes to Vinton, uh, a gallon of gas is $1.65. So quite the, the difference there. And for more information on the cost of living uh, in the Roanoke area, click one of the, the links above here, and that'll give you uh, a more in-depth part of uh, you know what, what the cost of living in Roanoke is. And then rent, if you're looking to rent, uh, you can get a one to two bedroom apartment for $650 to $750 a month. Um, and if you're looking for three to four bedrooms, uh, you're going to look for anywhere between $800 to $1,600 a month. Depends on what area you want, uh, whether you want the, the big yard or you're okay with an apartment. So that the variables are there. Um, if you're looking for something specific, let's have a chat about it. Hey, do me a quick favor. If you like what you're hearing so far, hit that like button. If you want to know about other videos that I'm doing in the future, hit that subscribe button and definitely don't forget to hit that bell so that you're notified every time I put out a new video. So Roanoke split up into different areas. Uh, the Roanoke Valley is. Uh, and that's who you pay your taxes to. For example, if you live in Roanoke City, you pay Roanoke City taxes. Uh, Roanoke County, you pay them. Vinton, you pay Vinton taxes and Roanoke County taxes because Vinton's still in Roanoke County. You, it's just declared itself a town. Um, and then you have Botetot, Franklin County, uh, and then Salem, which is still is surrounded by Ronan County, but it's its own city. Uh, so you only pay the Salem city taxes. Uh, for those tax rates and different things like that, I have down below links to all of those government uh, websites. So let's talk about those neighborhoods. So no matter what your lifestyle is, there's a neighborhood in Ronan for you. So whether it's the historical Old Southwest uh, in Roanoke that features a lot of uh, four square and Victorian homes, uh, these neighborhoods were built typically uh, in the late 1800s to early 1900s. One of the first homes uh, in neighborhoods in the Roanoke area. Uh, that is a, a neighborhood that's close to downtown too. So you're looking at probably 15 minute walk or so to get to downtown if that's where you uh, work. It is close to interstate and the hospitals also. And if you're looking for public transportation, this is an area with uh, great accessibility to public transportation also. So if you're looking for a walkable neighborhood uh, that you can walk to shop, eat, uh, and, and all of those things, you're definitely going to be wanting to look in the Grandin, Raleigh Court, Wasina area. Uh, that is one of the most walkable neighborhoods in the Roanoke area. Those homes, again, were built in the 
late 1800s, uh, beginning of the 1900s, but there are some houses in that area that are, were also built in the 1950s and 60s. So you have a, a range of houses in that area. You're not stuck with the four squares or the, the Victorians. There are ranches there. And if that is not enough in the Grandin area, it is close to our Greenway, uh, which is eight miles of walking, you know, walking trails. And with that, it's connection to over 400 miles of walking trails that we have in the Roanoke Valley. Below, I have a link that shows you the entire Roanoke Greenway system. Salem, a city of its own. It's home to the Salem Red Sox. It is close to the interstate. It is home to Roanoke College. The Salem Spartans, which are known for their multiple state titles and everything from debate to football. It is also the home to a lot of college championships uh, like football, softball, baseball. And one thing I like about Salem, it's a very close knit community. Salem people take care of Salem people. And then you also have downtown Roanoke, uh, which is known for the nightlife there. COVID's kind of messed it up a little bit, but you know, what can you do? It's also known for loft living. It's close to the interstate, close to the hospitals, close to the airport. So close to everything. Public transportation is good there. Uh, it's got, we have an Amtrak station there. And then our, our of course, uh, the Greyhound bus station and our metro bus stations there. And one important thing, it's close to shopping. There are lots of local shops downtown, and then you're about five minutes away from our local malls. Now, if you're looking for education, we have top-notch schools here. I have a link down below to our school systems. Uh, each of the, the cities have their own school districts, so all the grades and everything are down in the link below but we are about 45 minutes from Virginia Tech, from Radford. We host, uh, in, in the Roanoke Valley area, we have Roanoke College, Hollins College, and Virginia Western Community College. We also have the Radford Nursing Program in the Roanoke area. As far as our local weather, we sometimes we see all four seasons in one day. Click the, uh, the link above here, and I'll tell you all about how much snow and rain and everything we get uh, in the area. Some some winters we get a lot, some winters we don't. I think it depends on the El Nino or whatever. I'm not a weather person, but click that link above and, and it will give you the breakdown of all the weather. What I really love about the Roanoke area is that we do get all four seasons. My favorite is autumn when uh, all the leaves are changing and you can ride up on the Blue Ridge Parkway with your family and see just everything God's created wonderful. So we do have a regional airport in the area that uh, flies out to most of the hubs throughout uh, the East Coast, uh, which is wonderful. So you're only minutes away from the airport in most areas of Roanoke. Uh, we also have two hospitals here. We have Lewis Gale Hospital, and then we also have Carillion. Carillion right now is the number one uh, employer of the Roanoke Valley. They seem to be buying up a lot of areas in the Roanoke uh, city area uh, to build different types of schools and things. And they just partnered with Radford for the nursing part of it. Um, so as far as healthcare, we have you covered whatever, whatever problem you may have. Uh, we are also home to the Salem VA uh, for all of our veterans out there. Easy care, easy to get to and minutes from, you know, anywhere you are in the valley. Uh, what's so good about Roanoke is you're really never 30 minutes away from, from anything else, uh, which is super awesome. And talking about close to everything, Roanoke's kind of the hub for a lot of places. Uh, you're three hours from Charlotte, three hours from Richmond, two hours from Charlottesville, two hours to Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, four hours to the beach if you decide you're going to the beach for a day or two, uh, which is a great weekend trip. And if those are all too far, if you live in Roanoke County or, or city, 
You're about 45 minutes to an hour away from Smith Mountain Lake, which is a whole other area of uh, recreation. Also, as winter comes in, you are two hour, two to three hours from a lot of ski resorts, Massanutten, Snowshoe, Wintergreen. Uh, so there are lots of different ski areas uh, within a couple hour drive, which is super awesome. Also, if you are into outdoor sports, we have mountain biking, hiking, uh, canoeing, whitewater rafting, boats uh, at Smith Mountain Lake, and there there's a great boat rental uh, place out there. And what's so unique about the Roanoke area is that we have the Blue Ridge Parkway that runs through here. Uh, so for beautiful hiking and, and driving and things like that, also the Appalachian Trail that runs from Georgia to Maine, uh, it actually runs through the Roanoke area also. Uh, super great hikes like Mac McAfee's Knob, uh, Dragon's Tooth, uh, Roaring Run, which is not part of the Appalachian Trail, but it's one of my favorite places to hike. So I think in the Roanoke area, we could definitely meet those outdoor needs. I have several links below linking to those different things like the Appalachian Trail. I also have a link down below from visitroanoke.com that is a activities guide that will take you through a lot of different things that we offer here in the Roanoke area. It's a great guide. If you're thinking about moving to Roanoke or currently live here and you're looking to buy or sell, I would love to have that conversation with you. Answer any questions that you may have. Feel free to reach out to me through text, phone call, email. Uh, you could even send me a telegram if, if those are still uh, a thing. But I'm here to answer all of your questions. Have a super great day and we'll see you next time.